double. Should have been tripled. Hoggy? I knew it was a hog. Jiggy might take over the hogfish king duties. At least when Chad's not here. So, again, as I always talk about, especially with mangrove snapper, you want to try to present that, that bait as natural as possible and let it down as, as slow as possible. We're doubled up. But letting that bait down as slow as possible, look, making it look natural is key. I mean, we're catching these guys right here and we're throwing these back because we're catching... Man, Jiggy's got the hogfish down today. But basically, you want to present your bait as natural as you as you possibly can. I talk about that all the time because it's 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 key. Now these guys are using heavier, but Jiggy's catching a lot of hogfish, so he's right on the bottom. I'm catching a lot of mangrove snapper because I'm up in the water column. Same with uh, Nanderman. So. Doing things differently, finding out what works is key. Don't have everybody doing the same exact thing, using the same exact bait, because if they're not concentrated on that bait, if they don't like that heavy weight, nobody's gonna catch fish. So always change it up. Oh yeah, that's a mat daddy snapper. So Nanner man, what were you saying earlier? What were you talking about? I was saying that I needed the flat smasher jig and you said you didn't have any more then I wasn't catching any fish and then you told me that it's not the jig. It's not. And then I found some flat smashers and look at what I'm catching now. He's on fire. So Shut up apparently, bucket man. Bucket man. It may not be the color but it definitely is the jig. And that's the story I'm sticking with. Well, you just lost that jig. But you got a whole thing of them in there. Don't be using my jig. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Nice one. Nanner man, pull through. I did, thank you. <laughs> Doubled up. I'm not sure what this is. It's fighting like a gag. Yep, gag. He's eating all kinds of chummers. He's got three baits in his mouth. Again, that's the importance to chumming, guys is that you can get these fish up in the water column. Boom, just like that. That's a good one, man. Nanner, man, just getting lucky today. Even a blind Ooh. man will find something. That's a snapper. Mine to eat yours. <laughs> Nineteen and three quarters. They haven't hit the twenty mark, Tony. Oh, 
Tony. Look at Tony with a smile on her. <laughs> <laughs> I watched that last video when that hog fist came up. I thought, yeah, that guy was really excited. <laughs> There's a hoggy. There's a hoggy. Folks, we're going from big mangrove snappers to banded rudder fish to hog fish. There's a keeper. Told you. To gag grouper. We've caught some small red grouper. We're using a combination of a bunch of different things. I'm using a slacker right now. That's what I just caught that my biggest snapper on. Brian's using a flat smasher jig. Jiggy's using a one and a quarter huggy. So basically folks, this is what I wanna kinda show you what we're looking at here. Again, we can see that there's a ledge and this ledge is actually running this way. So we're set up right on the right on the edge of it and that's why we're catching another hogfish that's why we're catching that's why we're catching so many mangrove snappers because we're right on that ledge we're in 70 almost 80 feet of water so we're about 18 feet from the main ledge there so we're right on the edge of it and you can see right here this is this is this is a big this is a big thing right here. This is all snapper coming up in the water column. So that's when you're looking for mangrove snapper, that's definitely what you wanna see. And we're not even chumming that much. We're just chumming very little. Again, you can see how they're coming up. We're coming into a major feeding time. The bite has been unbelievable so far. So we're gonna keep at it and see what we can do. Gotta remember, don't horse them because I'm using 17 pound test line. <laughs> yep. The big ones are still down there. On the slacker. Gotta love the slacker jig. It's my favorite. Again, folks, now that I'm, I'm chumming quite a bit, that's what you're getting right there. When I'm using the slacker mm -hmm. or the flat smasher, it's going down slowly. Fish grabs it, rips it off the reel. But this over, it's going down about halfway and stopping like it's hitting the bottom. And then it's just completely sitting on the surface. So when I go to reel up, there's nothing. Is that the fish grabbing it and swimming back towards you? Mm -hmm. okay. Sometimes, yeah. That seems to be happening. That's the ones I'm not hooked. Okay. Using this bucket chum cutter, I'm telling you it's a game changer. You'd be able to cut up bait fast so people can catch fish like that. And then you take it, slide the handle, drops it right into the bucket. Do it again. Just start dumping bait in there. Now you're ready to cut up and have cut bait. And I'm using the sword serrated knife, which I love. I love their fillet knives, their utility knives, their everything. Their serrated knife is so nice when it when it does for this. For, for this particular, and for for, for, uh, for filleting hard scaled fish like mangrove snapper. And just like that, bam, more cut bait. And do it again, but that's it's that simple. Okay, the guys are making me do a shameless plug. You can buy the bucket bait cutter at tampabayfishingchannel.com or you can come to our location in Ruskin and buy one. They're awesome. If you. <laughs> okay. Peanut gallery. <laughs> so anyway, if you guys are looking for something like this, if you use a lot of cut bait, I know your inshore guys use cut bait. Um, we use cut bait all the time. I just don't show it very much because 
I'm trying to fish, but when you got to do it, you got to do it, but you can do it quick and get it done. I should, I should make one of my minions do it, but. <laughs> I'm going to do one more time. And all we did was just, this is bait that we caught at the Skyway. We threw three times and have enough bite, uh, live well, bait for the live well, bait for the bucket. I haven't even touched the frozen stuff that's over there, so. There you go. 17 pound test, Todd, 17 pound test. Uh oh, are we doubled? <laughs> Just nice and easy, nice and fluid. There you go. <clears throat> he wants to get me. Yeah, I think he's bigger than you think. <laughs> you arming it over there. My dude. It is gone. I can't even hold on to the boat. Oh, right at the boat, bro. What was it? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. I couldn't see it. Nanner man is back to his old ways now. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Come on. You didn't see it either, did you, Nanner? Nope. Oh my god, what are we gonna do with this guy? Holy moly. We put Brian in. He didn't break off. We put Brian in timeout. Really? There you go, gag. Oh, I had a really good, really good snapper. God bless America. Stupid sharks. No, he well, he's about 20 feet down, I guess. Quit playing around, you're gonna get that oh, thing. You know what? Look at it. Yeah, that's the way to go. Work it. Look at that man. Holy right Jesus, there. don't, 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 yeah. don't, 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 don't. Here, Tony, hold this. Hold, uh uh. Don't you even think about picking that up. That is a stud. Right <laughs> oh. Oh, did he just get eaten? God dang it, he did. Well, folks, that's what you get. Shut up, Tony. <laughs> well, folks, we had a great day on the water. And I can honestly say this may be the first time that Nanner Man probably outfished everybody. I did. <laughs> I did, I did, I did. <laughs> oh, he caught some nice mangrove snapper. One was his personal best, which was 24, 24 and a quarter inches. Tony got a real nice hog. 
uh i don't even know where well, he where'd went. jiggy go jiggy got a nice hog so we had jiggy on the boat we had tony bucket man on the boat we had of course nanner man brian on the boat then me chad was down in fort pierce so he couldn't make not, the trip not catching a thing not catching a thing but we loaded up on the mangrove snapper the bite was unbelievable most of the bigger ones came on light tackle 17 to 20 pound leader small light jigs up to a quarter ounce we were using slackers huggies and stewies with the circle hooks so we caught quite a few fish hey tony Yo. have you dumped those or no not the strip yet leave those in there because they actually will be fine okay yeah so anyway before my gopro died we had a great day on the water um i hope you guys learned something about how to set up on those ledges and what i'm looking for with those mangrove snapper up in the water column like that when i see that when they're streaking that's definitely mangrove snapper when it's one big ball it's typically either lane snapper vermilion snapper uh or bait so just keep that in mind look for those streaks and you'll get the mangrove snapper i just want to say thank you very much for watching we really appreciate it if you're looking for any jigs or anything else like that cast nets braided line fluorocarbon you can go to tampabayfishingchannel.com get that stuff there or you can visit our retailers pa uh, palmetto bait and tackle little manatee river bait and tackle um, reef and reel and then uh, tarpon fishing outfitters so again we just want to say thank you for watching fish more catch more and we'll see you on the flip side <laughs>